the U.S. Air Force has just torn through speed limits once believed to be absolute. While China and Russia focused on catching up to fifth-generation fighters, the United States quietly flew something so advanced it makes the F-22 look like a relic of another era. Covert test flights, extreme speeds that push physics to the edge, a fighter breaking records in total darkness for half a decade, hidden from the world by the Pentagon. The F-47 didn't suddenly appear. It's been ruling the skies far longer than anyone realized. What you're about to learn will completely redefine how air dominance actually works. But before revealing just how fast this aircraft truly is, there's something you need to understand. This program was buried so deep that even congressional oversight barely knew it existed. That secrecy wasn't accidental. It connects directly to a growing threat in the Pacific, one so serious it forced the United States to rewrite the rules of aerial warfare from the ground up. Welcome to Jet Vision, where we expose the technology shaping the future of air power. This isn't just a story about a new fighter. It's about a leap so large that America's rivals are still trying to comprehend what just happened. If you believe the United States must always lead in military aviation, drop a salute in the comments below. The secret flights, March 2025. That's when the silence finally cracked. In March 2025, President Trump stepped up and dropped a revelation that sent shockwaves through global defense circles. The F-47 wasn't theoretical, it wasn't futuristic, it was real, it was airborne, and it had been quietly rewriting records since 2020. An experimental version of the aircraft had already been flying for nearly five years. Five years of classified missions, five years of pushing airframes beyond limits analysts thought were unreachable. While experts debated what sixth generation might be, American engineers were already flying it. These weren't simulations. These weren't wind tunnels. X-plane demonstrators logged hundreds of hours of real supersonic flight, testing systems that didn't exist on any operational fighter anywhere on Earth. These aircraft weren't F-47 prototypes. They were experimental platforms built to answer a single critical question. Could one fighter dominate both speed and stealth at the same time? Every previous attempt had failed. Push past Mach 2, and heat turns your aircraft into a beacon. Infrared sensors can see it from hundreds of miles away. Chase total stealth, and you sacrifice speed and agility. For decades, physics forced a choice, speed or invisibility, never both. Then something changed. In September 2020, DARPA quietly confirmed that its demonstrators had broken records. No footage, no details, just one sentence that told insiders everything they needed to know. America had crossed a line no one else could. The F-22, once the undisputed king, tops out near Mach 2.25. The F-35, built for versatility, peaks around Mach 1.6. Both represent the pinnacle of fifth-generation design, and both are now being eclipsed. The F-47 spec sheet sounds unreal, Mach 2 Plus, and that plus matters more than it seems. Industry whispers suggest sustained speeds well beyond Mach 2.25, but raw speed isn't the revolution. The breakthrough is maintaining those speeds without giving up stealth. Traditional fighters heat up rapidly at supersonic velocity. Friction alone can destroy radar absorbent coatings. That's why most stealth aircraft crews below Mach 1. For decades, pilots had to choose, speed or stealth. The F-47 chose both, and making that possible required rewriting material science itself. The Air Force gave the F-47 a classification that should unsettle every adversary. Stealth plus plus. Not standard stealth. Not stealth plus like the F-22. Double plus. Every aircraft leaves signatures, radar reflections, heat emissions, even microscopic disturbances in airflow. Fifth generation jets reduce these traces. Sixth generation aircraft aim to nearly erase them. Researchers developed a new ceramic based radar absorbent material that changes the equation entirely. Traditional coatings are polymer-based, effective but fragile. Rain wears them down, sand scratches them, heat destroys them. Before we dive in, take a moment to support Jet Vision. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing, and that single click helps keep this channel flying. If you believe America should always lead in the skies, hit like, subscribe, 
and drop a salute in the comments to show your support for American air power. Now let's break down what they didn't want you to see. This ceramic coating absorbs over 90% of incoming radar energy. It resists abrasion, repels moisture, and most importantly, remains effective at extreme temperatures generated by sustained Mach 2 plus flight. That means the F-47 can sprint into contested airspace at nearly 1,700 miles per hour while remaining nearly invisible. By the time enemy systems detect anything, the mission is already over. Weapons released, targets hit, aircraft gone, but speed and stealth alone don't decide wars. Range does. The F-47's combat radius exceeds 1,000 nautical miles. That's nearly double the reach of the F-22. It allows penetration deeper into hostile territory than any fighter before it. In the Pacific, that changes everything. China has constructed vast anti-access networks, missiles, radars, air bases, designed to keep American aircraft far from its shores. The F-47 can launch from Guam or Japan, reach deep into contested zones, complete its mission, and return often without tanker support. The Air Force plans to acquire 185 F-47s, but each one delivers combat power that previously required multiple fighters. Greater range means fewer tankers. Better stealth means higher survivability. Advanced sensors mean total situational awareness. This isn't replacement, it's multiplication. Speed today isn't just about velocity, it's about energy, positioning, and control. At Mach 2 Plus, the F-47 carries enormous kinetic energy into every engagement. Missiles launched at those speeds start faster, fly farther, and give targets less time to react. Physics favors the aircraft that arrives first and leaves last. There's another advantage most never consider. Escape. A fighter capable of sustained Mach 2 Plus flight can simply outrun many threats entirely. Enemy fighters can't catch it. Many missiles can't intercept it. Speed becomes the ultimate defensive system. The F-47 can sustain supersonic flight without afterburners. That means lower fuel burn, reduced infrared signatures, and stealth preserved throughout the mission. From takeoff to strike to recovery, the F-47 can remain supersonic while penetrating deep into enemy airspace. This isn't theory. Those X-plane demonstrators validated everything in real-world conditions. Boeing described the transition to production as smooth, because the design was already mature. But the F-47's true power comes from something even more revolutionary, loyal wingmen. Instead of traditional formations, one pilot commands multiple AI-controlled combat aircraft. These drones scout, jam radars, absorb missile fire, and extend sensor coverage across hundreds of miles. The pilot directs the fight like a quarterback, while AI handles execution at machine speed. This multiplies combat power without requiring more pilots. It reduces risk, and it overwhelms defenses through complexity. Early CCAs have limits, range, speed, stealth. But future increments improve across every dimension. The Air Force envisions over 1,000 loyal wingmen supporting 185 full 47s. Each jet becomes the core of a combat formation once requiring dozens of aircraft. This system isn't conceptual, it's flying, it's being tested. Integration is happening right now. So did the F-47 break speed records? In classified aviation, records aren't about top speed alone. They're about sustained speed with stealth, weapons, and range. Previous aircraft could achieve speed or stealth. The F-47 achieves both, simultaneously, operationally, and sustainably. While rivals revealed concepts, America flew demonstrators. That head start matters. Air superiority decides modern wars. In a Taiwan scenario, the F-47 can penetrate defenses, establish air dominance, and return home. No other fighter can claim that capability today. That's not ideology, that's engineering and physics. The first production F-47 is already under construction. First flight is scheduled for 2028, with operational capability soon after. This pace is possible because the technology was proven in secret years ago. The F-47 didn't just break speed records, it shattered the belief that America's technological edge was fading. It flies faster, stealthier, and farther than any combat aircraft before it. And it's real. By the end of this decade, 
it will redefine air superiority for the entire world. What you've just seen isn't speculation, it's reality. The F-47 proves that America's edge in the skies isn't fading, it's accelerating. If this breakdown gave you a new perspective, hit like, subscribe to Jet Vision, and drop a salute in the comments if you're proud of what American innovation continues to achieve. We'll keep bringing you the stories they don't want talking